Hi guys. Um, I'm coming live from this side, and I'm sure like you can see the environment is kind of different. Very beautiful views, you know, and uh, that's a symbol of giraffe feeding from one of their favorite trees in the forest, you know. And uh, man, it's super super amazing to be here, guys. Very 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 beautiful. Yeah, another day, another blessing. Welcome to today's video. My name is Only Mavera. I appreciate you for stopping by to watch my video. And for always coming back to my video to the new subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by and subscribing to this channel. And I promise you, your subscription will not be a waste of time. Your time here will not be taken for granted. Thank you so much, guys. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by and for always coming back to support me. To my favorite moderators, you guys, you make my work easier. Even when I'm, when I'm sometimes the sleep is, you know, is hitting me with left, right, and center. You're always there for me. So, guys, I'm coming live from this area, and I'm with my friends today. We decided to visit one of the, you know, the eye of Na, of Nanyuki. You know, like when you come to Na, when you travel to a place, there's one thing that always make that stands out for that place. And um, this place is called Old Pajeta Conservancy. Uh, it's just like that minute away drive from Nanyuki town. You know. For the new subscribers, uh, I come from Africa and I'm in a country called Kenya. And here in Kenya, we have different places. So, Kenya is divided into counties. We have uh, Nairobi County, we have Darakanadi County, we have Meru County, we have Embu County, where I come from. Embu County is my home ground. And today I'm coming from Laikipia County. And uh, in Laikipia County, guys, we have one of the conservancy, it's called uh, Alpajeta. But also in this, the same, same county, we have also Mount Kenya national park like nanyuki has a lot of stuff and also nanyuki is known for uh, for its beautiful beautiful weather that favors the tourism you know and also it's one of the best places for you to visit and to have some good time in case you feel like you don't want to go to mombasa come to nanyuki nanyuki has the best ranches where the weather is very nice like it's awesome 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 so i want to show you guys the entrance of the this place beautiful and this is what you see when you come here. So I, I come, I, it's called Al Pajeta. And this G, this name sounds more of Maasai name, you know, Conservancy Gate, Rongai Gate. So there's a place in Nairobi called the Rongai, you know. So it's gonna be an, an amazing experience and I hope like you're gonna enjoy the, the place, you know. It's gonna be an epic. And we have here, when you come here, this is the one of the main, main so the main attraction is called a rhino, you know. And here we have been told caribou. So let's just walk in and see, you know. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, when you get in, the first thing that you notice is no plastics. Okay, there's conservation, there's adventure, there's innovation. No, there's the leader. relationships, you know. So this symbol here you see is a woman from a community called Maasai. That's why I told you like uh, Alpajeta sounds more of Maasai, you know. Maasai is one of the communities that they are like anytime you get even if you get to the to, to Jomo Kenyatta airport, you're gonna see some people who are dressed in a very nice art yes. They're gonna welcome you. So welcome to Alpajeta. I'm waiting for my friends to come so that at least we can get in together and uh, at least we go ahead. I'm waiting for them. So the role model for conservations, we have that one. So different people had to put on their colors and to make it beautiful as you can see. Then you have some. These are uh, what, and, uh, buffalo, buffalo horn. That one looks like a gazelle or something like that. Yeah. So guys, I'm gonna be waiting for my friends to come in. Then uh, we continue. I guess we're gonna be going to the reception, and then we know what's gonna happen next, guys. Please remember to subscribe and to comment and to share the video. The best supporting me, the best you can. Guys, I love whatever I'm seeing here. I love whatever I'm seeing here. The beautiful fields. Very, very beautiful.
Very beautiful. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing guys is getting our receipts, like acquiring our receipts, we pay and we see what's gonna happen. And if we check properly guys, you see the building is grass dashed, you know. Uh, this one this used to be one of the traditional way of uh, the, uh making sure like uh, uh this is how we used african style of roofing the houses this is how it used to be a long time ago and the houses never used even to leak a single drop of water but uh the bad thing about uh, uh roofing with this model is like you can if the house get, happens to get on fire my friend i uh, wanted to show you something small here about this place that we are in that's the position on Pajeta Conservancy seats between Mount Kenya and the Abadaya mountain range in an area of incredible uh, biodiversity okay and then elephants are able to migrate across the landscape through our dive across corridors okay protecting each lane of course wow eleven thousand dollars that's the information board okay Okay, guys. It's the largest black rhino sanctuary in East Africa. Wow, and home of the last two northern white rhinos and number of southern white rhinos. So, so that's a uh, real fact that you should know about where we are today. And I guess this is the picture of the white rhino here. I hope and pray like we're gonna meet him or her. I don't know, but uh, that's the board that can give you some of the information about this place that we are in so and uh, for you to get in here guys um, as, a, as a resident or, or a citizen you pay you pay you pay 20 dollars that is a, a crore that, that's about uh, at the moment the rate we are in that goes for about 17 dollars and then if you have a car you have to pay about uh, eight dollars so for us because for you to hire such a car, you have to pay <laughs> over two hundred dollars for you to have to have a drive of such a car. So let's get in, and uh, you are lucky we had our own drive, but you don't know how the fuel is gonna take us to. But we're just hoping for the best. So guys, please, I will come into to today's vlog, and um, I don't know what I'm feeling like today. My spirit is kind of not okay. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do what you're gonna do, man. So, I'm gonna be waiting for my friends to come over so that we can drive together. And from a distance, I can see some some meat. I can see some gazelles. That means ten. those are gazelles that you see there, guys. Look at them. Even from a distance, I've already started my tour already. <laughs> so let me wait for them to come over so that we can proceed. And this way, yeah, guys, it's called all pegeta, all pegeta. Okay, all pegeta means a burning, a burning place which is burning, and uh, it comes from our Maasai word. Yeah, so that's another thing that you should know about this place. The name all pegeta means burning, a place which is burning. So let's get in, guys. So I'm waiting for them to come so that we can proceed. They seem to be delaying, I don't know. Let me just go and see what is happening. Guys, because that beautiful heart over there so one thing we should know about the gazelles uh, for those all those gazelles that you see there only one male is supposed to be the control of that whole group now you will find that are some other gazelles that are wandering around they will be just just away you should know about that one uh, so guys this is Alpajeta this is my first time to come, uh, come this place. I'm trying to vlog at the same time. I hope you're going to have the best experience. Uh, oh, I'm going to have some zebras 
That some of them may die even without even involving in the in the in the female. So all of them are female. Buffalo, those are buffalo. Those are buffalo, actually. Uh, no, no, those are buffalo. Oh, there's another one there. There's another one sleeping. There's one which is sleeping somewhere there. Uh -huh. There's another one which is feeding there. So, uh, guys, one thing that I've noted about this place, it's very easy for you to get to find the animals. And uh, unlike Nairobi National Park, whereby you have to walk and walk or drive and drive before you spot an animal, but here it's very easy for you to spot the animals, they are very, the very animals available. Over there. The thing is, you can also see the Impala. These are impala actually. Guys, we have the impala. There's an name, an impala here. Now these are these are these are male impala. You see, it's yeah, just alone. Not even even the kiss is alone. This one has been chased away from the group because two males cannot stay with the females. That person who is just came to a dead game day with a, with a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> really? I think no. Uh, this one is a worker. <laughs> oh, I see it's a milk. Maybe there's a, some small babies that have need milk. Yeah. What? Some, some guinea falls. Oh, okay. Over there, guys. Okay, so you have oh, the two bands there. Three times in a day. Yes, three times a day. Yeah, yeah. Just like human beings. Just like human beings. So they take breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And no one will call them. Ah. Go for lunch or dinner. They'll just go. They'll just go. So where do they eat? Where do they be? That's where they go. Oh where you can see the black stuff. Yes. Where? Where we see like a like it's a, like a home which is fenced with black stuff like a yes. Yes. that's so their home. That's where they all meet. Yes, that's, that's where all they, they all meet. They go around there, they're yeah. food. Mm -hmm. That's where they sleep. You know, they can sleep there. Yeah. Oh. No, some of them oh, okay. are rescued chimpanzees. Oh. They are rescued from people who are taking them. Okay. Oh. And can you ask? If I may ask you, 
Can we go closer to the, dry, the ones that are seated right there? No, you see there. It's written there, do not pass. Oh, okay. No. Wow, that you could can't. be a very close lunch. Most of the lunch. lunch are here. Mm. So it's actually fine. So they always come for the issue. <laughs> because of security, it cannot be the You can't tell them, come here, there is someone who wants to see them. You can't, <laughs> definitely. Yes, you can't call them here. Yeah. Guys, I'm trying to imagine like a, a chimpanzee like knows where it's supposed to be at a particular time. So they are closer, 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 they are closer. Okay. 200? 250 hectares. For chibanzi only? I'm so amazed. So how many chibanzis do you have here? They know that they have to go home. And then I have another question. Is this is Alpajita more private or is public? Like government? It's a private. Actually, still here. And there, over there, there is another place. Run, Pauna Company. Guys, Alpajita, and also the Alpajita means bunny. Yes. The name burnt, 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 burnt areas. areas. Yes, burnt hills see, or burnt okay. areas. Burnt areas. Burnt areas. Oh. 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 Okay. Yes. So and so for you to restrict the movement, you are, the, the electrical fence is working. Actually, you don't restrict the movement. Mm -hmm. it, they are only enclosed there. You know, it's a large area, huh? okay. so you cannot say they are restricted. They are okay. free to move. They're free to move. Yes. I'm seeing coming over to this side where we are right now. Yes. I don't know. So they, they don't want to come this way. This, this area. Yeah. 50 acres. So 250 acres. Yes, the area is electrified 24 7. Ah. 24 7. Yes, you know they are very aggressive. Yeah, they are. Are they many? They are like 30. 30. 30 of them. Yes. 30 of them. Oh. So inside here we don't allow them to breed. Mm -hmm. Also, we do a family planning for this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? Also, Chibanzi, they are having a family plan. Family planning. We must do a family planning for them, injecting the females, uh -huh. but sometimes this family planning is not free. Mm -hmm. oh. So we end up getting accidentally born. <laughs> Imagine an accidentally born uh, baby Chibanzi. So, where do you take the accident? So I don't know why you're controlling the, the facility. No, no, no. Okay. We don't want them. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> you know, no, because of feeding purposes. Because, 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 if yeah. trained, if ah. trained, yes, they can. If trained, so can. compare the like how oh, how, how, how how close is Chibanzi's brain to a human being? It's in actually uh -huh. the DNA test is 98.6 percent human. Yes, what the? Wow. you know, you, you can see they are very close. <laughs> So this, this is a baby. That no, was no, no, that's ah. an old man. This one. <laughs> no, 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 the other one that is sitting down. Yes, yes. yes. Which that one is a baby and the mother. Yes. So it can also walk on too. Imagine. It's standing, yeah. You can see this. Wow. You know. Oh, I wish you could actually pass it. <laughs> but now it is restricted. They will come. They are coming actually. <laughs> so oh, he's coming. coming. <laughs> That's how we call them. Oh, that's how yes. you call them. <laughs> Max, you can see. Max. 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 It can't listen to you. Oh, he has to listen to a, a man's a man. voice. <laughs> Not a lady's voice like I'm doing. Come, come, come. Max. Max. Yes, can you see? It's working. It's coming. It's coming. Uh oh, yeah, Max. So a chibazin doesn't doesn't have a tail. It's going, <laughs> and the baby is go, it's following the mother. So that boy you can see there is called Pasaka. Uh -huh. The one which went to that way uh -huh. is called Pasaka. He was born in 2018. 2018. <laughs> 2018 during so he is known as Pasaka. Pasaka. Oh, yeah, yeah Pasaka Max. means yeah. Max. defense is Max. 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 Max is 37 years old. Now. What? He's I even older than me? 37 years old. Man, guys, imagine there's a chibanzi which is older than me. You know, if, if, the way him. human beings tend to grow old, yeah. mm -hmm. they, they tend to become small. Oh. 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 It's busy. Max. 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 Come and eat. Come. <laughs> oh, they know. Uh -huh. They don't want to come, guys. They know you want. They, they know like you want so to misuse them. So the oldest chimpanzee we have in the sanctuary is 44 years old. The oldest. The oldest. And the youngest? 
44. The youngest is, yes, yes. 44 years old, yes. mm, right here. Yes. Uh, the yes. youngest is it is one just year beautiful. One year old. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do they live uh, together or are uh, they oh, AstraZeneca, like the vaccine, AstraZeneca. Yes. Amazing. So I have another question. Eh? Yes. Why do Chibanzi they always like uh, have fleas? Are they called fleas? Do ya? How do you call this? Like this? Because they always they picking okay, something so from their continue. body. You know they are just animals. They uh -huh. don't bathe like they don't. Amazing. You know they they find these things under uh -huh. the grasses. Uh -huh. When they are roaming around, uh -huh. they just get the fleas, the ticks. Uh -huh. Also, not only ticks. Guys, we are still here, still uh, working in Alpajeta. It's called Alpajeta. And uh, Alpajeta is an animal, like it's a wildlife conservancy, and it's more private. You know, like I've been told, like it's owned by a flora and fauna company. And uh, that's why the rates are very expensive. Like if we're in Nairobi, we could have paid like, like uh, about three to four dollars for us to get, you know, citizens. But here we had to pay a lot of money, like. Actually, the ladies paid for me, so um, we have paid like about 18, 18, 18, 18 dollars for us to get in, and the car almost 10 dollars. So it's more of a private company. But uh, one thing I've loved about them, it's very easy for you to, to, to notice or to see the animals, you know. Uh, like when you go to a place like Nairobi National Park, and also here they have the big five, okay. We've been doing like we have the big five. So far we have seen the elephant, I've seen the rhino, and also so we are remaining with others, you know. It's very easy for you to see them. We've seen some impala, some gazelles, some zebras, you know. So we are trying to access the river. That's a river? Yes, it's uh... Can I pass? You can pass. Okay. Yeah, if you okay. can manage, you can pass. For me, I'm very much okay. I have my four wheel drive. Me too. I have my four wheel. I have my four wheel. Guys, you see, it's been raining such that the water is just overflowing everywhere. The grass is slipping. So, this place is uh, it's, uh, in a place called Nanyuki. So, as I told you guys, this place mainly was inhabited by Maasai community. Wow, this river is big, but you know like, it's not supposed to be this big. It's only like it has happened this because of the heavy rainfall that has been happening. Look at it! Wow, very very huge river. The famous Wasanjiro. Wasanjiro. Uh huh. Wasanjiro North. Okay. All the way from Abadia Ranges, Montana. Uh huh. Lorien Swamp. Okay. Wow. Wow. Uh huh. Where it So its source is the Abadia Regions. Yes, yes. And Mount Kenya. And Mount Kenya. There is a river joining between Mount Kenya. Uh -huh. okay. This is the river Ewasanjiro and uh, it's, uh, its main source is from Abadea ranges and uh, also some tributes joining from Mount Kenya and it's draining its water to Indian Ocean there's a Trorian South then after there to the famous Indian Ocean guys Guys, this is Kenya. Welcome and enjoy, enjoy this Kenya. I'm feeling this beautiful, beautiful Kenya. I appreciate it. Very beautiful. So here there is some hippo. So you mean like this river is always big like this or it's just because of the heavy? Because I can see like there has been some erosion happening around. 
Huh? We had flats. Yeah. They were up to this end. Wow. So it was flooded all over? Yes. That's why we wow. wanted to Wow. The water was flooded all over this place. Okay, so uh, here in the Pajeta, and one thing, what's the name of this tree in Kikuyu? Eh? Yeah. Momiji. Do you know it's edible? Like the fruits are edible. They are always purple in color when they are ripe, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In English, you call it a Euglia divinorium. Euglia divinorium. So I grew up eating the fruit from this plant when I was there, like <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Guys, Not only you, he, he's laughing at me because I'm telling him like when I, you know, like when I was growing up, I was looking after cows somewhere. So I've been in the bush for some time. So these things, I even know how to make some juice from this tree. <laughs> well, the juice. Yeah, there's some wild juice. So once, guys, I'm telling you, these fruits, when, once they're ripe, they're always very purple pure purple and dark and they are super super sweet i'm telling you like they're irresistible so as he's saying like this is a uh, chibanzi's favorite fruit fruit like when they ripe they feed on them like nobody's business so that means that when they are ripe you you cut your cost of production <laughs> for feeding the chibanzi's <laughs> yeah guys so yeah, we have this it reduces the cost because if you are able to get the food uh, naturally from the forest, that means like the, the budget that you are supposed to feed on that day, it's gonna reduce, you know. Yes, so that means like your cost of uh, maintaining the chimpanzees yes. that month or that day reduces, right? <laughs> yeah. So and another thing, guys, in this uh, conservancy, like uh, we have so many birds, like it's just a bit, I'm always attached to what do you call the nature. I'm always attached to nature, man. So sometimes. Yeah. Inside there, there is a common thing. Yeah. Okay. Things to do at Alpajeta. Let me just see what, what to do. So when you come to Alpajeta, these are some of the things that you can do. Okay. Things to do. Okay. So you can ride a horse next to a rhino. Okay, that's so new to me. I guess there's some also hotels have some bonfire, but I can't camp here. We, I love myself. We have some shop here. We have a shop here to sell some stuff. Let me go and see what hotels like we can have here. Guys, please remember to subscribe, to comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Uh -huh.
So. So this box was rescued at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport okay. back in 2005. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I missed that. This is the Chibanzi Sanctuary. So you see this one, Judy. 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 <laughs> so we are told like uh, this thing was used to transport some Chibanzi. And then there were six of them, but one died. I don't think. So guy tells us. She is Where is she? Judy. Judy but is actually she's paralyzed. Yeah. Oh. She has a son. Mm -hmm. Oscar. Oscar is going to have a son. Yes. Yes. This is it. This, you know, these people, when they are petting these chimpanzees, you know, actually, when a chimpanzee is a small baby, mm -hmm. it's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> like when I was a baby, guys. <laughs> when I, when, oh, they're so cute. When I was a baby, I was very cute. Yeah, Yes. So, and then when I was a baby, I was very yeah, cute and I had so many aunties so coming over. Hey, baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, my Friends all over their lives, but they keep on this. So, this cage was a cage for a cheap and zing. This is something Poco. Poco is on the other side. So, Poco was kept there for nine years. Okay. But he broke it. Oh no, he broke it. So, you see Poco, you see he's walking on this. Oh no, this is Poco. Poco is here, guys. He was kept here. Yes, for nine, for nine years. years. What? So yeah, his muscles didn't grow well. So that's why he kept in this cage, guys. Oh, for yeah. nine years So like human beings also cheap and this get bald. You can see this one. Oh, yeah. Bald man. This is now BN. That is Uruhara. This one is called Uruhara. Uruhara, Uruhara because of the baldness. This one is men. Baldness. He came from Rwanda. Uh -huh. So the son of Judy here is Oscar. Oscar, the Judy, the only oh, two. son of yes. Judy is called Oscar. So even Chibazi, they have a family tree. Yes, yes. They do. So also, here yeah, you can see the problems these Chibazis are facing today in the world. Uh -huh. You can oh, see bush meat trade. These people are killing them. They are killing meat. them for meat. Is so bush meat trade. Yes. And uh, here they are smelling some meat also. Yes. Oh, yeah. This you is 1300. <laughs> yes. You can oh, see also. Yeah. Deforestation of the tropical rainforest. Yes. You know, Japan just need this tropical rainforest. So, petting also, you can see. Yeah, like killing this one. Them, killing their <laughs> parents. So he is actually holding the, the leg yes. of this. I think it's a see, it's woman. Really this is Poco now. No, this one, this no. one is so cute. <laughs> no. Look at that one. That's not Poco. With a baby. <laughs> so, you can and see this that. One? This is a gorilla. Ah, oh, gorilla. Yes. What is the difference yeah. between a gorilla and a chimpanzee? A gorilla is a bit larger than okay. a chimpanzee. Oh. A chimpanzee is aggressive, but the gorilla is a bit friendly. Friendly? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's the things you can do. You say like this one, it was, where was it? So it was rescued in Jomo Kanata International. In the year? 205. 205. It was transporting six chimpanzees. Six chimpanzees from South Africa to Egypt. Oh. Yes. So one died, mm -hmm. for its location. So how do you always get this information like these animals are being done? Like how do you end up getting them here? This is by good luck. <laughs> it's by good luck. <laughs> no one knows. Because, because there is a competition between you and the government conservation. So how do you get them? You know, the government also supports the scientists. So the government, they cannot keep the Japanese So the Kenya Wildlife Service will get the Japanese, let's get them to it here. So it will be a property? Yes. Not their property now. Not their property. Oh. So this, the only place in Kenya you can find Japanese is Japanese. Wow. This will be the place. Yes. So in Kenya, this is just here. That is Japanese. Guys, so you are lucky I brought you here to see this guy. In the wild. In the wild, Tanzania, you can see those countries. So in this country, you can find this country. You can see Central Africa, Western Africa. And their homes are over there. 
that's the countries in Africa. So guys, we've been here at the Chibanzi Sanctuary and uh, it's been amazing guys. So, and I've been able to know like this, the only place in Kenya that you can find Chibanzi, they're not available in either, any other place. And the cost of maintaining one Chibanzi per year is 4,000 USD. That's a lot of money. And the difference between a human and a Chibanzi, the only difference is um, like a Chibanzi cannot swim, you know, and talk. But all other things, if well trained, it can do everything else. So it was nice visiting to this place. And uh... Kate, what's your name? And a loop. So guys, I wanna go to the. <laughs> I wanna go and visit the office and see what's happening. And I love the way the fact that they've maintained, you know. Everything is just natural, not so serious, you know. Very beautiful made and well maintained. You know, it's not complicated. Very easy, nice and easy. This way you wash your hands. Okay, have a... So I'm gonna be using this pot here and we have some... Someone who is living here rent free. We have some impala. Hey, it's very beautiful. Those are beautiful ladies in the forest. They are the most beautiful ladies here in this forest. I love the fact that, like, the nature, they, when the tree falls down, nobody moves it, it just stays there and rots there. Wow, there's so many guys. Very many. is a head it's called a head of impala head of gazelles there's a difference between an impala and a gazelle the, the, the difference i guess is the tail you know one has a long between tail oh, one between gazelle and impala yeah one has one has uh, no tail and the other has yeah guys please tell me tell me in the comment section the difference between a gazelle and an impala and there are some that has horns and others don't have the horns you know Meat, lion meat. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm driving at the same time. I'm doing the game drive. And vlogging, look at me, guys. <laughs> Nature so, trail. God is it? Left. Yeah. What one left, right, left. So, right. Check out the book. No, left, that right, guy left. was actually directing. Yeah. So, so he said left, left, right, left. This is actually in the wilderness. So, you have to. No school buses during this point. bad thing about today's video is like I, I, I don't have I don't have the power to get outside and explain for you this bit by bit. Look at those beautiful thing before. Tomorrow should become for them. Guys, there's an, an animal here. I don't know. We can't. I'm trying to zoom it. That one. Yeah, they look like in Canada. They're huge. 
Wow. One thing about this place, I, I just have so many animals yeah. and you're able to see them easily. Easily. And like uh, Nairobi National Park, whereby you have to go. You see, there's another one there. Yeah, there's another one there. Ah, very beautiful. This guy. Did you know that like, most of these places they are run by solar? Let me ask you guys, that um, waterfall, so far we have gone like this. Will it have run to go like that? I don't know. No. Because, uh, yes. This is just like a, a warehouse. I don't know whatever happens. It's a good storehouse. There's nothing. This is like main office over oh, there. All pezeta. And now we are going to continue. And keep checking the fuel. <laughs> the drive, main drive, continue. Guys, hopefully, hopefully we don't, don't get, get we, we don't get stranded. They will give us theirs. They will. They will come, but they have they emergency numbers. <laughs> so. Enjoy the drive, guys. My friend here, <laughs> she's jealous of animals. <laughs> animals are really enjoying. Look at the environment here, they enjoy the sun, free food. <laughs> guys, she say like, uh, in case you're eating uh, grass and you feel tired, you go and get a gazelle, you eat, you go to the river, you drink some water. Forest, grass, sun, wind. My mind goes away. Like I'm always very attached to the nature. Like yo, I love. I totally, I totally love nature. And then look at the skies, guys. Imagine that view: the sky, the trees, the grass, greenery, the green scenery. Just awesome. Crossing the bridge again, a new bridge. Why are you making noise? So 
so these are the same same that you can keep at home. Yeah, the same ones. So how do you how do you manage to tame them? Uh, yeah. How do you manage to? to to tame them like they go and come back home? Guys, one of the one of, one of the six the, one of the things that are, you see this bird, the guinea falls, they treasure their the eggs so much. And in case it goes somewhere and the less eggs, and they come and take the eggs from that spot. Tomorrow it won't lay there. It will change their spot. Chicken, the chicken, you know, it can still come back. It will still come back even without without an egg. But for them, if you if you take them their eggs away from them, they gonna know you know to come back again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a wild dog. Wild dog. We thought it is a lion. Now I, I have a question. Now if it was a lion and the one of the the one that you're looking for and you locked, how could you have recorded it? Ah, no, we were we were locking the 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 car, the not, car not, not the, the windows. windows, not the windows. Uh, oh, you locked the door. You know they no. open. They normally ah. open. Yeah, yeah that's like you're locking the. No, no, no. And then in front of us, that is a lion. Okay. Guys, that that's it. You it see can't. the hand. <laughs> Yeah. It cannot. It's just the, you see the black. There's a black thing here, guys. That's it. Yeah. I can't see. It's, it's waiting for us to pass, and then it come and cross the road. Try to try side. to pretend as if you're moving. Try to pretend as if you're moving. It's keep on lifting the head. Yeah. You yeah. see, guys. Oh, it's hiding. Mm. I'm Look at how it keeps on raising the head. Somewhere there. <laughs> it keeps raising the head. We have a huge rhino here. A lot of girls are coming to this year now. Yeah. Well, fast. Yeah. We're just from that. Yeah. This is the close-up of the rhino. And then umbrella. It's huge. And then umbrella. Oh, Please. I thought I was yeah, we go back. Oh, really? And it's so purely that. It's very huge rhino here. You know, I, I realized that these rhinos, they keep themselves mad for, uh, as a sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. For protecting their skin. Yeah. It's mad. It's uh, very big. But this one, I think this one is a, is, it's a female. Hey, look at that stomach. My God. And why is it wrong? Or it's an introvert. <laughs> an introvert. Uh, an introvert rhino. Look at that. Oh. And it's going. It's going, guys. It's moving. It's moving. Thank you. Wow. Look at it on my screen. It's actually therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> Let me I know you. You can see. Oh no, we're not kubwa. Kina kimulima. Hey, ni kubwa. Kwanza mapaja. Look at this, guys. Guys, that hey. drumstick. <laughs> That's a whole drumstick you can eat for one year. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, is the rhino meat edible? Though I'm not trying to campaign for poaching. You want to eat it? <laughs> I would love to have a taste. I taste it. Yeah. So, where's your... Uh, I wish we came here earlier when it was just here. You got a friend. Guys, been looking for elephant, but finally here we are. The elephants are here. I guess we should now enjoy. Hey, the elephant, we've been looking for you. Guys, after driving like for I think around two hours now, for come eternity. finally to the family of elephants. Ah, even the zebras are yeah. very many around this place. Oh my god, look at Best that. elephant. <laughs> Is, Do you know like elephant is one of the most friendly animals? Really? They are yeah. friendly. They are very friendly as long as you don't provoke it. They are not friendly. Look at that antelope. as a little spin. Oh, what is happening? The antelope is peeing. Oh. <laughs> Look at that antelope. <laughs> Look at that guys. I'm zooming it on my phone as well. 
Wow, what a beauty! And there are many. A, a walking mountain. They normally walk. Can we go? They don't go to. Huh? They are not yeah, introvert actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow. They are grazing. Yeah, with a baby. I don't remember the last the time that I saw an elephant. The baby elephant. Yeah. Yeah. How many are they? This one has three, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. This place is very nice. There's some cottages there. The other one is on the other side. I need to take a picture here. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Can we, can we move? Can we? Oh, the zebras are on this other side. And not even seen them. Pole pole. Pole pole means slowly, guys. Be careful. It's beautiful. Look at the way it is feeding. Guys, it's like a big You know that Kenya is the only country that has like all of them. I wish they were on the other side because of the picture, man. The picture oh, was very yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Well but, but right now, the, the sun, guys, is gonna focus on the forgive me because of the poor wow, picture. Because of the sun. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 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 That's the male. You see, yeah. the male is just alone. It's just alone, and then these ones are female. Here is the male, guys. And then on this other side, we have the zebras. Animal. It has a name. That is not an antelope. Guys, what is exactly? it's there's, an there's this animal. It looks like an antelope, but yes, it's not an antelope. So Guys, uh, let me try and zoom it. Oh, Guys, there's this beautiful. animal. That is a lion. It has a name. It has a name. Yeah, it has a name. And it lives in the. Like, uh, Guys, what is the name of this animal? I'm sure you can see it. Tell us the name of this animal, please, 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 please. Tell us the name of that animal. You have the zebras on the other side. I'm telling you, this side has the best views. I wish, I wish the elephant on this. More, more, this. more wow. elephants on the far end. We have some elephants there. More elephants. Have you spotted them? Look at them, guys. They're just moving. Wow. A lot of elephants, guys. Just grazing in groups. Guys, we have the elephant. They are moving. They are walking in groups, guys. And the elephant don't like noise, actually. Yeah. Elephants. Yeah, they don't like noise. But oh, they are very another, friendly. There's another elephant coming. <laughs> but there, yeah. I think it's a, it's a male one as well. Over there, down there. Mm, there's another one. Guys, apparently, our driver here is very afraid. He's even afraid. Apparently, guys, you have these big, big buffaloes. They look, they are the wild cows. I would love to see a, a, a buffalo milk. And then they imagine they're eating together with the, with the zebras. And we have these birds. And there's birds. Why are you looking at us? <laughs> Why are you disturbing me? Why are you disturbing? We are not poaching you guys. I Continue think they are eating. actually friends. 
they are friendly. They are friendly. Yeah, they are friendly mm -hmm. with uh, the dogs. No wonder they are grazing together, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, guys. Let me show you from here. Why are you moving away? Where are they going? Come back, please. There's a car coming over. There's a car? Yeah, coming from the end. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are beautiful, beautiful elephant. Okay. I mean buffaloes and the zebras. And zebra. So apparently they are grazing together. Came to your home? No. <laughs> beautiful. Guys, here we have zebras and uh, in our local language, we call them Waboi wa Meshore because of Meshore is the lines, you know. And as you can see, it's an evening here, they're having an evening eat, <laughs> you know, they're enjoying their evening meal. And uh, it's very beautiful to see them interacting together with the buffaloes. Give like, them. I wish like lions and buffaloes used to, like, they can live cohabitate like this. Look at them. So Waboi wa Meshore. Waboi wa Meshore. We keep going like Looks like. I can paint my, 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 my dunk like that. Buffalo is not visible because of the sun. The buffalo is not visible because of the sun. It's a wild cow. Let me get Man. away from the road. These, bar, these zebras, they look so nice. Here, we're doing a picture of it. They don't, they have two wheels. Zebras are very many. They look so pretty actually. Mm. If I was a lion, I would not be eating zebras. They look so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, guys. Let, me, let me ask you, Marela. They look so nice. Okay. When you go to, to, to the hotel, mm -hmm. you choose something nice, right? That is the same, <laughs> same thing that happens with the lions. They choose these uh, buffaloes because they are so... The 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 mini zebra. I'm size young ombe ni me kula ukushago. Ako ne kakal kadogo. Guys, look at that herd of uh, buffalo and zebra eating together. But now, in case a lion happens to appear there, <laughs> a lot of food, a lot of destruction that can happen there. They, like they're gonna run on um, like different ways. Everyone will start running for their dear lives. But when you see them on this side, that means like uh, this area, the lions don't appear so they're much so because they are not. Uh, they always know where to hide. Guys, we are trying to figure out what's uh, this animal, which is a head of us here. It's a fishy, it's a hyena. Hyena is not dangerous, so let's go. Oh. Yeah, it's a fishy, but in a cooler, easy. That's why it's running. Can it kill for itself? Yes, it can. It's a predator. Guys, we have spotted a hyena before us. Mm. This is when we, where you see a hyena, a lion is somewhere because they always. Oh, this is a chilling spot. You can eat from there. If we had food, we could have actually done an ini. We've well, done it. If yeah, over there. Or the. If we had food, we could have actually Guys, eaten from there. This is a hyena. This, to get but a big, hyena. a big hyena. Let's see with a hyena. I think Here in Kenya, we call them fishy. Mafisi, team Mafisi, well represented. Hi, Fisi. But it can grab you. No, it's not. Uh, hyena is a very afraid animal. Really? Eh. Yeah. Fisi. In Kenya, you call them Fisi. Now, guys, in Kenya, you see like all those men that love a lot of women, they are called hyenas or Fisi because they love babies. Yeah, I think we need to go that way. But the problem is, I don't know if our car can be able to access that. Guys, that's a hyena. Fissy, fissy. 
Fisi, come, come, come. Already, already, it, it is leading us where the lion is, maybe. No, uh, they always. They normally follow lions. Yeah. Lion because is of... over there, me, I'm telling you. You see where those lions People are actually here. Yeah. Guys, oh this. Hey. Hi. I'm eating. Don't pull at me. Oh my God. Uh, this is a he. This one is actually a male. A buffalo. Guys, this is a buffalo, guys. It's a male. There's no difference between it's gone. Just cutting glasses. Okay, see you buffaloes. Until next time. Adios. Adios muchachos. <laughs> Let's go. Hello buffaloes. Actually there's a swamp here. So they get to that when they're picking water from the swamp. <laughs> you know, I think I've noticed one thing. When they're chewing, they have to look up. Because of the being a, a lot of the enemy, oh, it's and they have, over here. Yeah, that's, that's it. Swampy, that's why they are here, and they are drinking water. Mm -hmm. See, they are eating at the same time. They are drinking water. So it's just why it's it's a full cost meal. I wonder where they get the mud from because everywhere looks so so because of swampiness. Guys they're actually eating and drinking. Oh guys can I tell you the difference between a male and a female uh, 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 buffalo? Mm. Look at the horn. Mm -hmm. The male mm -hmm. the horn is so somehow it's like it, it's just outside the protruding outside but the female mm -hmm. They are just like a normal for cow. Oh, for cow. Yeah, yeah. It's just check, oh, yeah. check, yeah. check, so, check and, and see. For, for men, it's quite a big. Big. It's big. Yeah, so Huge. big. Yeah, I've also seen that. Mm. Hey, guys, I'm sorry today you're going to not be seeing my, a lot of my face. I'm sorry, guys, today I'm on the screen. Then here we have some elephant droppings. Here we have elephant droppings. So nice. Uh, we had a chance to talk to step out of the car <laughs> and have this beautiful view of this elephant now you know the sun is on this side and the elephant are on this side and when you're shooting the sun the sun oh yeah the sun is always supposed to be here you know so the elephant are now like it's evening time and we, we had a chance to step out of the car to have a beautiful view of this elephant you know See, look at them where they are. Very, very, very beautiful. They are going home. No? The sun is on this side, guys. The sun is setting. Yeah. The sun is setting. You know, like when you're shooting, the sun is supposed to be here, you know. The sun is supposed to be here. So, uh, have them there. So, we're going to be going inside here to go and see the rhino. We're told like there's a rhino here and then maybe you can hold it. So, let's go and see it. Guys, we're in Alp, Alp, 
Alpajeta. It's called Alpajeta. Alpajeta. It is a very beautiful space to be. And uh, it has been an amazing day. We came here from 2 a.m. up to now. We are still here. It's around 5 p.m. So, and we're supposed to be out of this place by 7. So, by 6.56, then you're supposed to be outside this gate. So, can I proceed to you? Oh, okay. So, guys, we're going to have a, um, a tour guide around this place. There's no way you're supposed to go alone, so you have to wait for a tour guide. And uh, here we have this beautiful acacia tree. You know, they're very beautiful. And the sun is setting. It's a beautiful sunset from this side. And, uh, the ladies are having the moment of their life, they are taking pictures. <coughs> and uh, we have the beautiful improvised dusty bin around this place. So we're gonna be going inside and see the rhino, and then we exit. I love this, guys. Love it, love it, love it. See one of the rhino that has been secluded simply because he is blind. Okay, he's Who blind. Baraka. He's called okay. Baraka. The so right called... now guys we are here at this place. And then uh, we are going to see a baraka. And this place has a very big So for how long has he been secluded? Blind. For the last fifteen years. Fifteen what? Yeah. Wow. Man, he has been secluded for fifteen years. Simply because he's blind. So how did he lose his sight? Uh, during a fight, he lost the right eye during a fight. Uh -huh. The left I got cataract eye disease. Uh -huh. and he completely became blind. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you are able even to hold it. That's yeah, it depends on the position. Uh -huh. You will go and see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this place looks so nice. Guys, I think in the nearby future when I become a billionaire I'll own a conservative. <laughs> Because this place looks so super nice. Okay, always owned by government. No, no, this one is not. It's private. This one is private. Yeah, that's why it's uh, oh, it's very expensive. Data. Yeah, it's private. It's more private. Okay. But then they in partnership with the KWS. Okay. You know, there are some animals when they are rescued by the KWS and they, you know, they know they cannot manage to keep them. They bring them to this kind of thing. So, Karibu means welcome. So this is the head of our, of our rhino. Elephant. Yeah. This is the head. Yeah. Yeah. Only the upper yeah. Are you allowed to touch? Yeah, yeah, This is the upper part of the elephant. I'm telling. <laughs> The brown is so remarkable, very strong food because we eat almost every every plant. Uh, guys, you remember the animal that I was, we were trying to ask the name? It's called an eland. I just saw the name over there. It's called an eland. Excuse me? Uh, yes? It's a beautiful evening and I'm telling you the sun is setting down and very very beautiful look at the sunset and the place is just purely green. Wow, the sun is so beautiful. <laughs> very very beautiful. Wow. So you have, as for me I'm just addicted to the sunset. <laughs> to the sunset. <laughs> Guys, I'm just on the... <laughs> I just came to realize I can very tall such that even these trees they almost <laughs> and this one's a cactus. cactus. Yeah, this Do you know cactus, cactus the, the cactus leaves are edible still? Are they? Yeah. yeah. You have the platform, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you get some uh, food for the rain. Oh okay. right. Yeah, so you can okay. You guys, so you are walking in. Has you get the food for the rain? You said that you are supposed. We can be able to feed the rain. Uh, so we can going up the stairs. Okay. And you can 
and Baraka is here. Hey, good evening. Jambo, jambo, so it's not every day you meet and greet black rhino after losing an eye in a fight and another to disease. Baraka can never do well, but he is doing great job being president of his endangered species. First, he born on the conservancy back in 1994. His name means blessing. He's quite an older boy now and spends his day raising some and taking a mad bath. Baraka is charming. The impressive so all, all meet him and if you tell just one friend no, about your experience then the job is done. Hey, just come, just come, just come. It's Baraka. So you can uh, you can bet him, okay? And he loves the scratchings behind the ears. You can bet him and pet some uh, He's feeding on thorns. So we'll go and feed. Na kule kwa na miba. We can we can we can come. Yes. Okay. Baraka baraka. Wow. So guys, we're gonna have this kind of experience. Hello, hello. You can go stand here. Come this side. So the tree. First of all, you have to pet it. Then start at this, you can have his attention. And I see it hard. You see? Okay. Yes, so, how old is he? How old is Baraka? Baraka is 29 years. Uh, he is 25 years old. 29. Uh, oh. Is this where he lives? Alone? 29. 29. So this is the food. And you see there, there's some manure there. I'm trying to imagine whatever you, what can happen if you go and uh, plant some plant with that manure. <laughs> Maybe it can do it can do well. So guys, at that sunset, super super amazing. I think it was. Are you good? Are you okay? Okay. So guys, I'm betting with this uh, rhino. His name is Baraka. He's 29 years old, and he's and then, purely oh, pure blind. So I'm gonna give my friends a chance of to experience this one. Yeah. He's eating and eating and eating more food. He's totally blind, guys. Okay, eat, please. Eat. Baraka. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But picture to picture of video. Okay. Mm. So in the end, then, I'm going to turn this water. Guys, we just finished uh, taking some pictures there. <laughs> okay. Head on. I had a nice experience uh, interacting with the rhino at uh, first hand. <laughs> so we exiting the place. We have the cactus tree. I love the sky guys. Look at the sky. <laughs> Guys, 
they are playing. It's even they're enjoying the play. And we have some elephant. Wow. Wow, guys, look at that video. Look at that animal, those animals, man. They're enjoying their playing, guys. <laughs> Even in play. Wow. Wow. Guys, it has been amazing to be here. Remember to subscribe, to comment on the video. Share the video, please. Thank you so much for watching my videos. My moderators, thank you so much. New subscribers, thank you so much. The returning subscribers, thank you so much. May God bless you. Right now we are trying to rush again this time because by 7 we should be out of this place. Man, the day has been awesome. God is great. So, guys, see you on the next video. Please share the video. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. See you on the next video, guys. Adios.